All right, happy Friday, everyone. Happy April 1st. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna lay down onto our back today. My name is Bianca. I'll be guiding you through your practice. We have entered into Q2 of 2022. Very exciting. And once you're, once you're laying down, plant your feet on the floor. Let your chest be relaxed. Sit your hips back. And then feel the groundedness of your back onto the floor here. Starting to ease into the breath on this Friday. Good, just notice how your body's doing, how your mind is doing today. Begin to tune deeper into your breath here as you find some stillness. If you're still getting these set up, that's all good. Otherwise, just lay down. And then from here, I know the breath can be rather shallow, so start to intentionally deepen the breath on the inhales. And intentionally exhale slowly, releasing your air. Creating that calming effect on the body. And then on the inhale, breathe deep. Expand the chest, lungs, belly. And then very slowly exhale out. Take a few more breaths. And then if it helps you, you can place one hand to heart, one hand to your navel. With your hand, feel the rise and fall of the navel. Feel the rise and fall of your chest. Creating a sense of peace, relax your eyebrows, expand through the forehead, muscles. Good. And then just one more moment of stillness here. No rush. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's start to open the eyes now. Inhale, lift the hips high. Lift the arms up and back for your bridge pose. Make sure the feet are hips are distance. Toes are pointed forward. On the exhale, both arms and hips lower down. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. Exhale, release slowly. So move like this, inhale, lift hips high, arms back, and exhale, relax. Good, keep going. On the inhales, lift. And on the exhales, lower. So just taking your own pace. All right, inhale, lift, then remain here. Take the arms by your side, so lower the arms, stay in bridge. Then from here, slowly lift your right knee up in space. Bring your right leg to tabletop and then hold and engage. Try not to let the hips lower or collapse. Breathe strong here and exhale, release. Stay in your bridge. Inhale, lift the left knee up to your tabletop. Try to stay focused on engaging your legs. Stay lifted. Find tabletop in the left knee and bridge in the right knee. Hold, feel the quad strengthening on the right. Good, both feet down and then rest the hips. Take a moment, hug the knees into your chest, rock side to side. We're gonna repeat that again, just adding more on, okay? So from here, plant the feet again, inhale, lift the hips high for bridge. And then on the exhale, bring the right knee up into tabletop. All right, engage, lift the left, left glute more. On the inhale, extend the right leg to 45. And then on the exhale, right knee into your chest or tabletop, good, inhale, extend. Exhale, table, strong, inhale, extend. And exhale, table, good, two more, inhale, extend. 
exhale table one last exhale bring it in and inhale release good stay in bridge inhale lift the left knee exhale extend inhale bend into your tabletop exhale extend inhale bend exhale extend you got two more stay centered inhale exhale good legs are feeling it inhale exhale and release the feet release the hips good hug your knees into your chest again rock side to side and then from here find your happy baby take your feet up to the sky hold on to the ankles maybe your feet and sway side to side so now we've activated glutes inner thighs quads we'll add on adding the core now bring the knees into tabletop both knees take the arms by your sides all right getting ready breathe in on the exhale lower your heels two inches to the mat keep the lower core engaged and inhale lift the knees high to your tabletop exhale hover your entire leg unit at 90 degrees down and inhale up good exhale hover heels keep that 90 degree bend feel the lower core and lift it up exhale lower good inhale lift try to glue your lower back onto the mat good again lower and lift nice one last lower hold maybe you want to extend the legs to 45 and hold good strengthen feel any shaking engage your lower back onto the ground Keep looking up, relax your face, your jaw, and nice release. Hug your knees into your chest. All right, adding on. From here, extend the legs to 45, and then lift the shoulders. So adding with adding your upper body. Lift, gaze, fingertips reach forward, using your core strength. Hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax. This time, legs up the wall, arms up and back, and take any amount of hamstring stretches here, right side, maybe left side. So feel free to switch the legs. Awakening the back of the legs here. All right, we're gonna do one more thing before we fully return onto the mat. All right, from here, legs to 45. Lift, on the exhale, lift your shoulders. And then just start to switch the legs into the air for eight, seven, six, five, four, strong work you guys, three, two, and one. Good, cross the legs, shift forward and back. We'll be in a tabletop. Find your tabletop and then start your cat and cows. Hopefully that was a good little quick burn in the glutes and the core inhale lift for cow pose and exhale around for cat inhale and exhale letting your core be stretched out from all that work a few more here feel free to add any hip circles any child's pose, any other poses that will serve you today. All right, and then from here, shift your knees all the way, like two, three inches back, find your supported plank pose. So lower the hips just a bit, find that 45 degree angle with your body, and then look down at your fingertips, point the fingers forward, lengthen through the chest, breathe in. On the exhale, flowing through our chaturanga. So bend the elbows back. Inhale, press up. Stay on the knees, please. Exhale, bend. Strong, you guys. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Nice. Keep going. Exhale. Got five more. Bend. Inhales, press. You got three more. 
last two, last one, lower all the way down. Good. Keep those knees bent. Take a hold of the feet. Exhale out all the breath. On the inhale, lift chest, knees, feet, and head up for your floor bow. Keep gazing forward. Breathing, expanding. And softly release. Good. Let your right cheek rest. Shift your shin side to side, massaging. And then we will return back to center here, locust pose. From when you're ready, exhale out all the breath. On the inhale, lift the chest, legs, and arms back. Activate your whole back chain as you lift and breathe. Good, lift and squeeze those inner thighs. Lift your triceps, one more breath. Nice, you guys, and left temple and left side your face onto the mat feel free to sway the shin side to side good now that we've fully fully warmed up and strengthened their body let's go ahead and lift up downward facing dog you should find that you are a bit more warm than when we started once you're in down dog start to pedal it out one knee the other Stretching out your calves, feeling out your hamstrings, lengthening the hips high to the sky. Yeah, really good. Okay, and then from here, stabilize your down dog, hold it steady, adding some more stability and strength from what we've been doing. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. On the exhale, lead with your core, hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, hips all the way up. We got three more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, hips back. Good. Inhale, forward. Exhale, hips back. This last time, inhale, forward and hold. Stay steady. And then slowly, hips up, down, down. All right, inhale, walk forward to your forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale, release. Bend your knees forward fold. Sway side to side. Let your body hang heavy. Take the hands to your hips now. Very slowly arise up into your standing position. Exhale to a back bend, support your low back. And inhale, upright the chest, lift the arms high. From here, take a few side bends, right and left, just feeling out, noticing how your spine's doing, any types of movements that you need, back bends, circles of the hips, twists, anything at all. When you feel balanced, inhale up to your chair pose, bring your feet together and gaze down. Arms high though. You feel kind of the activation that we created from our bridge pose from earlier. And then feel free to keep gazing down as you extend those arms nice and long, noticing the warmth. All right, from here, Inhale, stand straight up, lift the left knee high, bring those arms high. On the exhale, send it straight back, warrior three. Arms can travel back with you. Use your balance, listen carefully. Inhale, left knee high. Think of channeling that strength from bridge. And then exhale straight back to your warrior three. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, straight back. Working on strength today. Inhale, lift left knee. Exhale, warrior three. Good. Inhale, lift the left knee. Reach the arms high. Pulse the left knee high here for five, four, three, good, two, one. Relax in a figure four and let your hands 
reach for the floor if you can. Sitting deep into this right hip, letting the left hip feel the stretch. Gaze down if that works for you. And then slide your left foot all the way to the floor so that your ankles are crossed. Bend the knees, inhale, halfway lift, hands to your low back. On the exhale, fold forward all the way into this cross-legged position. Fingertips to the ground, and then if you want, you can angle your fingertips to the right or angle the fingertips to the left, So or both. So doing any amount of movement that will find this to be a good stretch for you. And then slowly unwind your feet, inhale to a halfway lift, on the exhale, forward fold. Nice work, inhale, chair pose, hold it strong. Sit straight back. Once again, arms up, but you can look down. Be heavy onto the heels, lower the glutes far back behind you, using only your body weight here to strengthen. Good, keep hugging your lower abs in. When you're ready, inhale, elevate the right knee. Hold it here, we'll, we'll pulse the knee up here for five, four, three, use your core strength, two, and one. Good, hold it high, full breath in. On the exhale, warrior three, slide the right leg very gracefully back in the arms. And inhale, lift the right knee up. If you come out of the balance, it's all good. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lift, focus, concentrate, right knee. Exhale, lift back into your warrior three. You got two more here. Inhale, elevate, right knee high. Exhale, take it back. Good, one more. Inhale, knee up, arms up. Exhale, warrior three. And inhale, right knee up. On the release, exhale, figure four, bend and reach for the ground. Give your left glute a break here by balancing more into the right fingertips. Slow and steady breaths. One more breath, maybe bend the left knee a little bit deeper. And then from here, slide your right ankle in front of the left. Take a halfway lift, hands to hips. Exhale, fold forward. Then telescope the head down while you find an angle, whether angling the fingertips to the left or to the right or both, or forward. Feeling out what works there for you. Nice, you guys, all right. Unwind the legs. Inhale, halfway lift again. On the exhale, crow pose. So plant the hands, you're here. You can go into frog pose. Let's use all that strength we've built so far. Bend the knees, bend your elbows. Try to find that chaturanga arms. And then eventually your toes will lift once you shift forward enough. Okay, so there's that tipping point. Hold, breathe, we'll all meet in frog. And then exhale, release into your frog pose. Good. Feel free to stretch out the wrist. Feel free to take a side bend or rather side side twist one way and the other. And then from here, step back to your plank. If you know that you can maintain your really good form in your chaturanga, you can stay in plank. Otherwise, lower the knees, such as I'm doing. Shift the chest forward. Exhale, five chaturangas here. Bend. Inhale, press. Exhale, bend. Inhale, press. Three more. Press. Two more. Press, one last. Press, and then either upward facing dog or cobra. So your choice. Up dog, your thighs are, from, are lifted from the floor. And then exhale, everyone. 
downward facing dog. Nice. All right, so find a steady breath, five breaths here. In the first quarter of 2022, we did a lot of stretching. Now we're kind of gonna add in some strengthening as well, further upping our strength, our balance. Good, one more breath. And exhale, let it go. Start with the right leg, inhale, lift up. On the exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg. Right knee, right tricep. Good, inhale, right leg. Exhale, step all the way through. Inhale to crescent lunge. Lift your arms, lift your torso. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you're feeling a little bit sweaty, but I sure am. Reach the arms high, lift the left knee higher, or rather left heel higher. Make sure your right knee is above your right heel. And expand the chest. And then you have options. You can either take your hands to your heart or hands to your hips. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, hover your left knee down. Doesn't touch, just hover. Good, inhale, extend both legs and exhale, hover. Good, inhale, extend. Keep gazing forward, exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale, hover. One more time, inhale, exhale, hover. Then you can reach the arms forward for balance or reach the arms up for strength. Breathe. Good, and on the exhale, release into pyramid pose. Give it a rest. Left heel comes down, right leg extends. Reach the fingertips forward. Find a steady gaze either down or to the left heel. Nice. All right, look at your right foot, please. Bend your right knee and shift your weight all the way onto the right foot and lift your left leg up into your standing split. Point your left toes down, make sure your hips are square. Walk your fingertips about a foot forward. And then from here, bend the right knee slightly. Nice, when you're there, lift the heel high for five. Left heel, four, three, move really slow, two, one and then hold here static standing splits at your highest level finding the balance leaning more weight into the outside of the right foot and on the exhale release it back warrior two open up the chest open up your hips extend the arms nice and long once you're in your warrior two find your heat right heel left arch alignment Extend the arms really nice and long. Good. Explore the depth on the right knee. And then from here, inhale to a reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. You can rest your forearm. You can reach both arms forward. Hold strong there using that glute strength and then inhale reverse triangle lift it on up right arm high exhale to your triangle pose hold steady here feel the stretch here inside of the right knee lean your torso forward as you elongate the body on both sides right and left Good. Left hand to hip, inhale, reverse warrior, bend the right knee, lift the right arm high, and then take the right hand to your hip as well. From here, rotate your left heel in so that now you're here in a goddess pose. Sit as deep as you can, shift side to side. Once you're ready, extend the arms either to the sides, up at your heart space, Hold strong. Inhale, extend both legs and arms, star pose. Exhale, forward fold to the center. Find your wide-legged fold. Here, prasarita, let the body hang heavy. 
if you want, you can use all that core strength we've already worked on to go into your tripod headstand or supported headstand. You can also explore into a twist. Do what honors your body, what honors the breath. Even out on both sides. Letting go of the heaviness of your head here, just letting something go. And then from here, hands to hips, rise up. Return to warrior two, right knee bends. Move your left heel closer, and then from here, lift your right heel. So balance onto the right toes. Just find that height of the right heel, accessing an amount of engagement in the inner thigh on the right leg. Nice. All right, release it. Inhale, reverse triangle. On the exhale, go in for your half moon pose. Transfer the weight into your right leg. Elevate the left leg. Press into the right big toe a lot, and when you can, just stack the body. Use all that glute strength we've cultivated, a lot of core strength as well, one last breath. And gently release it. Good. Nice, Josh. Inhale, reverse. On the exhale, take it down to the ground, everyone. Chaturanga. You can go ahead and lower to the knees like we did. Inhale to your up dog and exhales, downward facing. Find five breaths here. Notice how strong, how much more space you have, any warmth you've created there in your body. One more breath. Good, inhale the left leg high now. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, left leg. Again, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg. You got it just one more time on the left side. And from here, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step all the way through. Rise, inhale, crescent lunge. Find your balance here. Find the distance that you wish with your legs. <laughs> Breathe. Make sure you feel strong, secure, balanced. Press into the left big toe, lift the right heel higher. And then now you have either uh, option to put your hands to your heart space or your hips. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, hover the right knee. Inhale, straighten. Try to be in position where your joints feel supported. Bend and straighten. Sustain your form. Inhale and exhale. Good. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Good. Lower, hover. And then from here, reach the arms high or reach it forward. Find the depth that you wish that you did on the other side. Hold it. Inner thighs are working. Left glute is working. Right heel is lifted. One last breath. You can do this. And then exhale. Good. Straighten both legs. Find pyramid pose. Let yourself really stretch it out. It's all good if your left knee is bent. Just try to find that maximum length of the spine. Feeling length through the gaze even, if you wanna look forward, you wanna reach your fingertips past your toes, that works as well. And nice, bend the left knee, look at your left foot, Transfer all the way into your left foot as you lift your right leg up. Once you're there, walk your hands forward so you're shifted forward. Point your right toe down. You're in standing splits here. 
Bend your left knee generously. Then from here, lifting just the right heel here for five, four, make sure you're breathing for three, super gentle movement, two, one, hold it. Then you can extend the left leg, finding your standing splits here. You got it, glute strength, core, and on the slow release is warrior two. You'll open up towards the side now, left knee bends. Okay, then open up the arms, upright your body, your head, your, your spine, your neck, your hips, shoulders, all kind of aligning here. Find depth into your warrior two. You can flip your palms up. You can scoot back a bit, pulling back as much as you're reaching forward. And then if you can, please find your, your expression here, going a little deep if you wish. So unclench your toes, unclench your face. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift it up, left knee, or rather left knee bends, left arm reaches back. And then from here into your extended side angle, elbow can rest, right arm reaches, and then maybe eventually left arm reaches as well. Good, inhale, reverse triangle, lift it on up, left leg extends, left arm reaches back, and from there into your triangle pose. Scoot your right foot in if you want. You got it. Keep pressing the legs to straighten. Elongate the left side body as much as the right. Strengthen the core and the muscles that support the spine behind you. All right, good. Inhale, lift up, reverse warrior. Left knee bends again. And from here, walk your right foot in a bit. And take your left hand to your hip and your right hand to your hip and turn the right heel in. Try to even it out. Make sure your heels are lined up here. Then both hands to your inner thighs start to bend. One shoulder in, the other. Good, really good work. And then stay low in the legs, arms out to a goal post. You got this, bend the knees, breathe, palms open. Yeah, one more breath and slowly extend into star pose. Legs and arms, pivot the toes, hands can go behind you, inhale chest expansion. On the exhale, bow forward. Taking your time again, no rush any variations at all holding on to the ankles you want to convert into maybe even a handstand with pretty strong core and long hamstrings so far you can also do a tripod headstand or just enjoying being upside down here so good you guys all right, from here, hands to hips, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two to the left. Two more things before we move on. Inhale, reverse warrior, and then straight into your half moon pose. Transfer the weight into your left foot, slow and steady. My head is always touching the plant on this side. All right, left side, half moon, you got it balance you can hold on to the floor if you really want to use that oblique strength just lift without holding on to the floor find the pose take your time hold it and then slowly release good inhale reverse warrior again but this time a little bit shorter lift your left heel and balance. 
for really strengthening that inner thigh, you guys. Lift the left heel, straighten the right leg. And replace the heel down, bring it down. Find your flow. Upward facing knee. And exhale. Downward facing. So hold your down dog. Optional option for dolphin pose. For those of you in dolphin, or rather down dog with some lead in dolphin, if you don't want to do dolphin, there's child's pose. Place your forearms on the ground. Lift your hips high. Resist gravity from the shoulders. And then everyone slowly lower the knees. Take a quick rest in your child's pose. Rest your forehead. Embryo pose also works where your knees are close together and your arms are by your sides. From here, inhale, rise up to tabletop. Exhale to forearm plank. So release the forearms, tuck the toes, lift your knees off the ground. A balance, try to bring your elbows to that 11 shape. It's great because when you're in class, we're all doing it together, so stick with it. Press the ground away again. Glutes, glutes are low and engaged. And then from here, stepping it up a bit, bend the right knee, hover it from the ground and switch left knee. Okay, so keep going. If this hurts your low back, just lower down to the knees. Right knee bends, left knee, keep going. If this hurts your low back, it just means you need to keep working on strengthening your core. Keep going, right, left, right left and good shins down sit up onto your seat take the hands behind you find a big back bend and exhale into your child's pose again widen the knee rest your forehead you can here bend your elbows touch the thumbs to the back of the neck And we'll add on. So plant the palms, lift up, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg first. On the exhale, step to the left side of your mat towards the pinky. And stay high onto your right knee. So, and then bend your left knee. All right, feel free to stay here. Or you can reach your left arm underneath. And exploring tucking that shoulder under. Just hold here using the glute strength. If you feel you have balance, you can transfer the weight into your left heel and lift your right arm as well. So you're balancing just in the legs, but making sure your knees are supported. If you, that doesn't work at all, just lower the knees, giving the hips a nice stretch. But that little balance here really helps encourage strength in the glutes again and everyone release the right knee good extend the left leg for your half splits you can be all the way to the left side we are going to use this for later and then from here plant the left foot inhale the left arm up in space exhale hold on to the right foot for your quad stretch Feel free to twist, gazing to the left here. And softly release it. If you're really craving a herbers pose, you can go into the arm balance now. Otherwise, head straight to down dog. Okay, so for all of you in down dog, inhale the right leg up. Exhale. 
exhale, step to the right side of your mat. Stay lifted. Explore your hips here, opening the hips. And then if you want to move towards that balance, reach the right arm underneath your right thigh, making sure your elbows and your knee are protected so nothing hyperextending there. Stay here or if you want you can transfer a little bit into the weight into the right foot while you lift both arms and you're balancing on the glute. If that doesn't work, if you don't like that, you can lower the left knee. Just see where your strength is today, especially after all the leg work we've been doing. And then if you haven't already lowered the left knee, sit the hips back for your half splits. Breathe. And then from here, transfer the weight into the right foot, place it down, lift the right arm up, and take your quad stretch, hold on to the left foot. And then slowly release it, tuck the toes, step it back, downward facing dog. If you did hurdlers on the other side, you can try it again on this side. Otherwise, you're waiting for us in down dog. Where we will all meet now. Nice. All right, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, hop, step, or float to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Lift it up to chair again. Inhale. Then exhale, stand straight up. Take the arms by your sides. Take a few moments to stretch out your neck. Circle one way. Circle the other. One more time on each side. And last side. Good. All right, from here, lift up your right foot into tree, tree pose. Extend the arms high. Perhaps gaze up, challenging yourself. And then from here, please, option to hold on to the right knee or the right big toe to extend the leg forward or the knee forward. Stay with your glute strength we've been cultivating. From here, bend your right knee. Stay lifted. Angle your right knee to the right side. So now your external rotation and extend the leg. It doesn't have to be extended, it could be bent. You can do it. Breathe. Return back to tree pose. Replace your right foot back where it was. Extend the arms, breathe in. On the exhale, warrior three, let it go. Down to standing splits. And then into any handstands of your choice, maybe just staying in standing splits. Just feeling any amount of practice that you wanna do here. When you feel good, release the feet and inhale, rise straight up again. Exhale, hands to heart. Still with me, inhale, the left foot up into tree pose on the left side. Arms over. Whoa, <laughs> find your balance. Sometimes gazing up too fast will help you, <laughs> make you lose your balance. Take it step by step here, breathe. And then when you feel balance, you can look up. All right, from here, knowing where we're going, either lift the left knee forward like this, or holding onto the left big toe and extending. Find what works, what feels good. You always keep that left knee a little bit bent, but try straighten that right leg. You gotta keep breathing strong, balance, really strong work today. 
then hug your left knee in, take your left knee to the side, find your balance and then kick out to the side or just stay bent. We're really engaging the leg muscles in this class. You got it, strong and steady and back to tree. Stay with it, lift, breathe. Exhale to warrior three, slowly slide the left leg back and into your standing split. And then if you wish into your handstand, safely off course, keep those arms straight. You're in standing splits if you want to stay. <laughs> And good, slowly release both feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Going through one more balance flow. Lift your right knee high and exhale to your figure four. So right back to the beginning. So your left knee is bent. Hands could be on the heart or your hips or back. I'm gonna try a tricky transition here. From here, listen carefully, take a hold of your right knee with your right hand, lift the knee up, rotate it back, find dancer's pose in that one transition, and then find bow pose, reaching forward. You got it. and upright yourself. Inhale, look up. Exhale, sit back. Lift the left knee and find figure four. Left ankle on the right thigh. Right hip back a little. You're using all the strength, all the stability. All right, then you know where we're going. Hold on to the left knee. Lift it up into the side and then take a hold of the foot. Take the leg back first, dancers, and then reach forward for bow. Concentrate. Nice work. Inhale, rise arms up and then exhale sit into chair arms forward and then sit all the way down into your toe squat lift the heels balance maybe take the arms high and then assuming that your knees feel good here you're good sit down and find boat pose lift the knees really close to your chest engage the core maybe extend the legs you guys Yeah, then you have the option you can go lower to half boat or just stay in boat. Five, four, three, two, one, lift. Good, have a seat, feet together, and knees out, exhale, fold. Okay, now we get to cool down. We did lots of hard work today. Really proud of you guys, Friday, Friday strain. Inhale, lift the chest, plant your feet, hips width, take your hands behind you, fingertips point to your heels, really important there. And then exhale, reverse tabletop, lift those hips, strengthen this, the triceps. And softly sit down. This time we'll extend the legs out to a V in front of you. Externally rotate your toes out and then internal a few more exhale to the out to the out external rotation and in one more each side and then toes up to the sky reach up with the fingers exhale fold just hang out in that shape forward folding 
perfect timing, you guys. Keep breathing. And then slowly bring it in. Lift yourself up. Lay all the way down onto your back. If you have any other poses you want to do here, like you really want to get more inversions in, you can, of course, take your time. Otherwise, legs up the wall, everyone. Super good work today. Extend the left heel as you draw your right leg as close as you can to your body. Then from here, the right leg goes to the right side about 45 degrees only, not all the way, so that your left hip will still stay down. And from there, supine twist, right knee goes to the left side and gaze to the right. Inhale, center. Legs up the wall, legs up to the sky. Switch sides, right heel comes down, left leg goes closer to your body here. You can always bend the knee. Such good work today. Then left leg to the side, only about 45 degrees. And then from there into your supine twist, left knee goes to the right side, gaze left. Your knee can be bent or leg straight. Inhale, center, hug your knees in. And good. You give yourself a giant hug here. If there's any other final poses you want, like another bridge, a wheel, you can. Otherwise, exhale into your very well-deserved Shavasana. And then just know that after class, you may feel, a few days after class, you may feel a little sore, but that's all good. So start to relax the body. Inhale, a deep breath in. Cleanse and exhale, let it go. Breath in. Breath out. Enjoying your shavasana. You can even put one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Honoring your strength, your dedication to showing up here, and even reflecting on why you practice movement in yoga in this moment. few more moments of rest. Nice. All right, take a deeper inhale. Cleansing exhale, side out. Good job. Inhale, extend the arms up and back. Reach, lengthen, hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. And then you'll roll over towards any side that you wish, then up to your seat. Once you're seated, just take a few seated cat cows. Side bends, letting the body feel balanced. When you feel pretty balanced, inhale the arms high. Then exhale, bow for the ceiling of the practice. Nice with you. Nice with you. Thank you all. Thank you so much for investing your time in your physical health, mental health. I hope you feel great. You have a great rest of your Friday and a lovely weekend. Drink lots of water, and I will see you again next 